Hola woodworkers, Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. Let's do a really quick tour around my one car garage workshop. It's about 12 feet wide and 19 feet long, so somewhere around 200 square feet. I think, what is that, nine or 10 square meters? And uh, what I do is I place my saw stop PCS table saw inside of the garage door with some jigs and cross cut sleds and things that I need for that. It's got an accessory on it for the outfeed, which is a folding table provided by SawStop for several hundred dollars. I've got a dust collection system that I wish I had a stronger one on a 32 gallon can with a, a cyclone top from Rockler. And that works really, really well. Hardly ever get any sawdust in the bag itself. It all goes into the barrel. I built a Samurai Carpenter workbench. Very, very happy with that. That was a, uh, oh, that was a rewarding build and learned a lot from it. Right now I have some audio visual equipment on there because I do some virtual workshop tours. Stay tuned for those. I like to use my walls. So right at the workbench, I have all of my hand tools, chisels, saws, you know, woodworking hammers, mortising chisels, bench planes, things of that nature my uh, aprons hanging over there, a lot of little uh, six inch and four inch clamps on the wall right behind there. There's my University of Kansas Jayhawk. I graduated from there and you guys won't believe this, 1964, undergraduate, 1968 from graduate school. I keep some things up above my tool wall. Come on up that I don't want to put them away in a sustainer. If I do, it takes too long to get them out. I just want to grab them, hook them up to my uh, Festool dust extractor and start using them. So I got my sanding devices there from Festool. I got my Festool Domino. I've got my pen nailer. I also have pneumatic pen nailers that use my compressor and some drill drivers and things of that nature. So get them out and get them up where you can use them. Coming in the garage door, going down the left-hand side, I keep my aisle open. Sometimes, I, yes, I sometimes I do have to walk sideways down that aisle, depending on what I'm working on. So on the left-hand side, I have my uh, Powermatic uh, helical head jointer, eight inch. Got my French cleat wall system. Have a fixed miter saw or chop saw. I've been able to marry that with my jointer by having this little bridge on it that will support my work pieces out to the left of my miter saw. And uh, what else do I have? I, going down past my entry door, I have a new 16 drawer shop cabinet that I just finished. I got a really interesting finish on it. What I did was I put some uh, Watco uh, Danish oil on it and on the uh, Baltic birch, that turned totally amber on me. I hated that, so I sanded it all off, and then I put on some shellac, and then it really came out cool. It was kind of an artistic model, model, how do they say that? Uh, so anyway, it, it's like those fancy walls you see in the fancy homes, so kind of like the way that turned out. I like to keep things out and usable, so on top of that, I have three different things. I have my uh, sanding devices, two of them there, and I have my sharpening station out where I can use it. My bandsaw is the Rikon 14 incher, the 10-326 model. Love it. And my drill press is a little Wen. I've had a lot of Wen things and slowly replaced them but I found no need at all to replace this uh, variable speed wind drill press. I built a little uh, table for it uh, using match fit dovetail grooves on the underside to attach it. And I figured out a little design. I didn't figure it out, I copied it, I copy everything in order to put a, a dust extraction hose in there to when I'm using the drill press. Well, that's it. Going down the one side, I got tool wall, clamps, dust extraction, table saw, 
workbench. Going down the other side, I have this new drawer system. I love being able to consolidate a lot of things I had spread all over the shop. I was always running around, opening up this drawer, that drawer, every drawer, looking for what I needed. And uh, it's just nice to have the great majority of it now in one place. And then I have the opening and then the French cleat wall system down the other side. I hope you enjoyed the tour, give you some ideas. This is what I would call a fully loaded, fully loaded one car garage. I took up woodworking late in life at age 75. Fortunate to have enough money to be able to buy a lot of tools quickly. And I don't have the, I don't have the life expectancy to acquire a lot of tools slowly. So thank God I can buy them kind of all at once and try to use them before the old coot croaks. Well, have a safe day in your workshop. As I always say, you can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. Small Workshop Guy, signing off.